We continue to follow breaking news in Kissimmee. A man accused of trying to set his wife on fire and then drown her. We just heard from police in the case. West Chief's Chris Hush joins us live. And Chris, what is the police chief saying about what happened? Well, first and foremost, the police chief tells us that this really could have had a much different ending if it weren't for the quick response of officers. It was around 2 o'clock this afternoon that Kissimmee police got a call from the victim of this domestic incident and heard the whole thing unfold in that 911 call, which you'll hear in just a moment here. Police say the husband doused his wife with gasoline and tried to set her on fire at their home on Mill Run Boulevard. When that didn't work, police say the suspect tried to drown his wife in their backyard pool. It was at that point that officers arrived on scene and jumped into that pool to separate the two and here's that frightening 911 call made by the victim what's going on there my husband had a knife he wants to kill me and i'm in the bathroom with my daughter okay even you in the bathroom yeah but he's uh trying trying to open the door Very frightening indeed. Uh, we are told that the suspect uh, is in custody now. We also know that the victim, the wife there, uh, did receive some uh, injuries to her face, we're being told, and was sent to the hospital to be evaluated. There was another victim that uh, we just found out about, too. Uh, the uh, alleged stepdaughter of the husband was uh, apparently inside the home as well and did also uh, receive some injuries in this. The suspect, uh, who is not being named right now uh, because they do not want to uh, review Reveal or release the identity, of course, of the victim as well. Uh, he is charged, we know, with attempted murder, attempted arson, felony battery, and domestic violence, uh, aggravated assault. And he, again, is booked into the jail. We, of course, will continue to follow this story and we'll have more for you tonight on West 2 News. For now, we're live in Kissimmee. Chris Hush, West 2 News, back to you.